mga descriptions kung kinsa si Matthew in his following Christ. 
Okay, paliho ko nag tanaw sa inyong journal notebook. Kung pare pareho ba tag mga description, so na ako din hi mga words na generally makadescribe kang Matthew in his following Christ, in his walking with Christ. So Matthew, na hi mo siyang follower of Christ, the friend of Christ, the disciple of Christ. So si Matthew, na hi mong faithful, no, na hi mong honest, na himong Christ-centered, and then other-centered, di na siya greedy, serve others, or servant of the Lord, himo siyang missionary, himo siyang evangelizer, live in simplicity, para sa una, nga live in abundance, or ex extravagance, na himo siyang loving, na himo siyang welcoming, uh, without any discrimination, and then living uh, a Christly life or a Christ-centered life. So how about you? Unsa may nyo mga descriptions din ha? So this time, I want you to reflect upon these descriptions, virtues, or values. Are these descriptions apply only in the story? Apply only in the life of Matthew? Or do these descriptions apply to people you know? Nabay mga tao nga follower of Christ, faithful, live in fidelity in their following Christ, other-centered, Christ-centered, servant of the Lord, evangelizer, loving, welcoming. Nabay mo na na. Nabay sa inyohang komunidad. Nabay sa ato ang eskwelahan, sa atong trabahuan. Or nabani sa inyong group of friends? Or nabani sa inyong pamilya, membro sa inyong pamilya, nga like Matthew? Or do descriptions, do these descriptions apply to you? Okay, so can you relate the different positive traits of Matthew? So this time, I want you to write three to five qualities of Matthew nga naapod ni mo karon. Okay? So, dia sa kahilom, write three to five descriptions na you can relate that you are also like Matthew. So, supply this phrase, I am like Matthew because Okay? Sige, isip-isip, pamalandong, kinsaba mo, like Matthew. belief and understanding of the cross is not that dreadful, fearful, or horrible understanding of the cross. Because out of faith we believe, we as Christian and Catholic, that this cross is, an, is a symbol and sign of love. That Jesus being crucified on the cross 
is an act of our greatest love for each one of us. No, so dili unta ning hunong lang ta sa Bernes Santo. Kung dili mo palaom pata sa gugma ni Kristo nganong niabot siya diha sa cross. No, dili unta sa iyahang mga samad, dili unta sa iyahang kaluoy sa naong, kung dili masabtan unta nato ang iyang gugma diha sa cross, no? The greatest love of Jesus on the cross. So, unta ang aw ang ato mga action always animated to that the same love no so all our actions must be animated with that spirit of the greatest love of Jesus on the cross so unsa mga unsa man ang spirit nga ato ang makita diha sa cross dili ang mga sama dili ang mga dugo dili ang kahadlok sa kamatayon kun dili kaning mga spirit of love on the cross. So, sa mani natay nine spirit of love on the cross. Actually, maopo ni gi-contemplate ni Saint Magdalene of Canossa, akong foundress, no, maopo ni giyang nagkita din ha kang Kristo sa cross. Dili ang samad, dili ang hadlok niya nga naw, dili ang fruits of the greatest love, the spirit of Jesus on the cross. First is the spirit of charity. No, the compassion of Jesus, the tender love of Jesus to all of us. The second is the gentleness of Jesus. No, na kay Bauta nga bisag persecute o gipatay, even to his last breath, gentle gihapon siya, tender of the blood. The second is meekness, no, the, the humbleness, the mildness. The modesty of Jesus. So, kinsa kayo makahimo din, ano, no? bisag na nasa cross. So, grabe pa mang gihapon, kahambol o uh, mild. Okay, so, next is the humility of Jesus. No, the, the lowliness of heart. Yeah, bisan o king siya, di siya mapasidakon. Kaya nang nagpaubos gihapon. O nirelay gihapon, diha sa sa iyang relasyon sa iyang amahan. Ikalima, the spirit of zeal. No, kanang naagi ha po ng kasibot sa spirito nga makita ni mo sa krus. Ang passion, ang enthusiasm, bisang wala na na siya ay, wala na na siya ay kanang kusog. Pero nai impacts, no? Kanang the power of the spirit, no, the, the zeal within him in his life on the cross. Okay, ikaunom Fortitude. Sa maning fortitude, gimension na sa Christos Bibit nga the word resiliency. Fortitude is the inner endurance. No? The persevering heart. The resiliency. No? Bitaw na nga kanang iyahad yung gihuman ang iyan journey unto the cross. No? Kanang ning lahutay until the end. No? So, Higugmaong yun ni Kristo until the end of our lifetime and it will continue during our life in heaven. Okay, ka-seven, diha daw sa cross, makita na to ang most amiable. Sa so, maning amiable, ang pagka-friendly niya po ni Jesus, ang pagka-welcoming. Tanawa bitaw na siya, no? Outstretched hand, bisag out, outstretched arm, bisag naka-lansang naka niya sa cross. So, ma-feel giha po na to nga murag ready siya to embrace bisan sa iyahang kahintang. Okay, so number eight, most generous. About ta, pinaka most generous kay bisan sa iyahang kinabuhi, giulaw, gihatag sa iyahang hinigugma. And the most patient spirit. So, according to Saint Magdalene, mo na'y makita na to nga mga Animated by the spirit of the greatest love, the spirit of charity, gentleness, meekness, humility, spirit of zeal, fortitude, most amiable, most generous, and most patient spirit. No, so, mogin na ako ang tatatsyan sa kung kinabuhi pag ako na'y maghinambugira. No, kung ako na'y wala na sa kadasigs kinabuhi. No, giingon sa mong founder, St. Magdalene of Canosa, Look at the cross so that you can gain life. Okay, so pag na may time, pamalandong, hangad sa cross o pamalandungi ang iyang mga virtues. No? 
mga virtues niya of greatest love on the cross. So that in times of our crosses, let our inner goodness shine instead of our flaws. So like Matthew, Levi or Matthew, si Jesus nag-count gihapon sa iya mga positive traits, sa iyang goodness within. So kita po in times na we are tested by our weaknesses, do not forget that there is inner goodness in you. Because in your inner self, there is God in your heart. So it is the Holy Spirit in us who will work and no longer us if we only allow ourselves to, to be used by God. Human as we are, weak and vulnerable, that is why we need God. No? So like Levi, we need Jesus our, as our greatest doctor. A sinner and we are sick in our relationship to him and in our spiritual aspect. So we need God as our doctor. We need Jesus as our greatest healer. So we need God's grace and his spirit to take over us. Kaya huwag kita ralisod, huwag kita ramatumbat ta, huwag na makabangon. But with God, with Christ, we can. No, we can be like St. Matthew, a faithful follower and disciple of Christ. So how to accept our cross? So how many pag-accept mga, mga basic way of accepting the cross? So ato po ni siyang gihimuan o acronym, no? Kaning C-R-O-S-S. -S. So to accept our cross is to carry our daily crosses. No, letter C. Carry our daily crosses. May it be our high expectation. May be, uh, it be our weakness. The differences of others, kaya naman siya mga tao sa komunidad na di na to, dali masabtan, maybe cross na sila sa tua, so carry them gently, no, without grudging and mumbling. So our entire self, no, mabitaw ng atong daily formations, kaugalingon, lifetime na. So carry your own self, no, accept your sexuality. Babay man ka, laki man ka, bayot man ka, bakla. As long as you are naningkamot ka nga mahimong balaan. No? Okay, so since we are human and yet we are divine. No? So we believe and live our identity as sons and daughters of God and our body as the temple of the Holy Spirit and we are the image and likeness of Christ. R, sa cross, recognize humbly your mistakes and face its consequences responsibly. So, as human beings, so, daghan yun tao mga mistakes every day. So, recognize it as part of your daily crosses. Letter O of cross, own your action, be it successes or failures. Own it. Ayaw ka uwaw nga i-appreciate ka sa iyong mga mga talents. Di ka i-deny at chakpat rin na. Bala-bala rin na. No, own it because it's God's gift. Own your failure as well. Di ka ipampasa-pasa or i-mutudlo ka sa ubang tao. The more nga mutudlo ka, ang imuhang upat ka, kamot na animo. Okay? Own. Own it as your own. No? So, both the weaknesses and the strength, the successes, and the failures. The letter S of cross is to stay in persevering hope and faith in times of difficulties. Do not give up. No, kana the spirit of fortitude, the resiliency, the endurance. Na if you have hope and you trust in God, you can. Kaya ni mo basta na ay ginoo. And the last letter S of the cross, the word cross is share in carrying the crosses of others, especially those who are nearly giving up. So share, help others to carry their cross, especially katong mga mo give up na, no? especially this time na uso na ni mga depression and suicidal thoughts and actions. So, kung makabatik ka nila, kung makanotice ka nila, wala mag tingog, -tingog ang naong di na ma-picture. So, share. No? Um, relate to them. Um, ask. 
naunsa na sila, mangumusta ka, and then help them carry their cross. Okay, so how to accept one's cross? C, carry your daily crosses. R, recognize your mistakes and face the consequence. O, own your actions, both in your successes and failures. S, stay in persevering hope in times of difficulties. S, share in carrying the crosses of others, especially those who are giving up. Okay, so how to carry one's cross? O, sa mga auto, again, inato kaya kung wala ang spirito, grasya ni Jesus. So, a suffering servant like Jesus Though wounded, but healed. Thus, be one of those wounded healer. No, so Levi himself, who turned into Matthew, sinner, but became follower and disciple of Christ. Wounded, and yet experienced healing. So God Himself is a wounded healer. So like Jesus, a suffering servant can perform miracles. And healing works. The deaf hear, the blind see, the crippled walk, forgives the thief. We too can be instrument of healing. No, if we open up ourselves to be healed first and be freed from any infirmities. So if you want to be to heal others, so accept that healing power of God. No, if you want to form others. Form first yourselves through your following, through your internalizing in the love of Christ on the cross. So we too can be an instrument of healing. And as wounded healer, we become effective bearer of consolation, hope, and healing to others. So, talyo, be one of those wounded healers to others. So, reflective questions, malandong ta sa ato medyo taas-taas na, na talk, aning hashtag talyo lakaw, the session 2, challenge accepted, and to accept the daily crosses of your lives as followers and disciples of Christ. What specific area of your life that needs healing from God? May it be a relationship of yourself, relationship with God, relationship with others, or your present life condition. This time, allow God to heal you. In front of the crucifix or under His feet on the cross, pour out all the things that are in your mind at this time. Present to Him all the content of your heart, especially those who are pushing you down. In your prayer, in your reflection on the Spirit of Jesus on the cross, the greatest love of Jesus that shines on the cross, may you receive the healing power of God in His loving grace.